Hit it. New, 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 new. Very festive. All right, new product. So uh, it's always a product. It's not exactly new, but it could be new for someone in your life. Gift certificates from Adafruit. Get one. Got to mention it. They make, it, now they the make time. good and easy gifts. All right, next up. Okay, first up, we have some tubing. Yay, silicone tubing. Wow, so exciting. It's silicone tubing that tubes. fits. Yeah, tubes. It fits perfectly in our peristaltic pump. Um, our pump comes with a little bit of silicone tubing, and you can pick some up from McMaster Car, but there's people who are like, no, I want a lot of tubing. Uh, so now we have a meter long piece of tubing, pretty cheap, and it's like perfect size that goes into the peristaltic pump. It's a little bit of a tight fit. It's supposed to be a tight fit. And um, what's neat is the pump never touches the liquid. So it's really good for moving like fluid that you want to drink or that like would corrode or damage a pump or something. Um, silicone tubing is good. You want to show them the overhead? I think yeah, let's do a live demo. Crystal. We have this live demo thing for a reason. Let's well, yeah, I've got this tubing. Well, I, I don't. I don't think I'll plug it in because I think I want to keep moving, but... Um, okay, we got plenty of time. You no, know, we, get, we get this pump and then there the tubing goes in here and then, yeah, it can it can take fluid from one point and push it's it the other. Focus. Hold on. It's not focused? No, it is. Okay, yeah, the tubing, um, it'll it'll pump um, liquid from one side to the other and, uh, yeah, the tubing just fits inside. You just um, open it, there's these little snap bits here and you just pull them apart and this pops out and you just fit the tubing inside. You have to squish it in place and then it, it um, rotates and it um, pushes the liquid through. So uh, it's just the tubing, but if you want the tubing and the pump, you can get uh, both. Okay. Um, next up, when all the power on planet Earth is used for Bitcoin mining, you'll need the following. Yeah, we have this KTOR uh, hand crank. So we had a version that was wall adapter and this version is um, USB output. So this is a little USB jack. It gives you five volts out regulated, uh, one amp. Um, it's, you know, it, it works. You have to sit there and you have to crank it, um, but you can charge your phone at one amp or your device. Now there's a lot of uh, larger tablets that maybe need um, uh, you know, two amp of current, so it won't work for those, or it might charge them, but not as quickly. But it does work quite well. You know, we, we saw you, we charge an iPhone, your GPS, your MP3 player, whatnot. Um, this folds out and snaps into place. And then it's pretty ergonomic. You hold it and you, you twist it. And then yeah. over here is the output. And so what's nice is it just has, instead of doing one 10 volt, which the other one did, it just gives you five. Because like 99% of everything you're using is, is USB power. Yeah, as, uh, as a couple of people who live through Sandy with no power, Oh yeah, there was. You can charge your phone. Um, no, I had one of the ones from a long time ago. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it was great in a jam. It, I, <laughs> I have a go bag. Well, we have two go bags. You do have to sit and crank it though. Yeah. Like, just be aware. Like you it's, have to. You have but to. But it, it's important. But it does work. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, in this. Your arm, maybe. In the, you know this Get week strong. in particular, people were going through the Atlanta airport and it ran out of power. The power is kind of a tough thing sometimes, so I think it's a good idea. Yeah. So this is very nice. It's very well made. It's very yeah. uh, sturdy. This is kind of like it. Like this is the, kind of the best thing on the market for something like this. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, just for it doesn't have a battery built in. So you know if you want to have it store, you know, you'll have to charge you something. Have, you could always just sit there and charge a battery and then. Yeah, you might want to pair know. this with a USB battery pack that you can then charge up and then you know you keep that and then use that um, for when you don't want to sit and crank constantly. Okay. Okay. We got this. This is pretty. Oh, this is an update. Um, wait, this was just working, and now, of course, it's not. Yeah. Well, what is this? I'm showing photos. This is a. Um, oh, there you go. Had to be plugged in. This is the Smart Matrix version four. This is a little board that um, adapts a Teensy 3.2 to fit onto these sort of standard. Hub 75 style um, multiplexed uh, LED matrices are used for making LED walls and we sell them. You can see this lovely demo. Um, and this is just a simple demo showing like layering and text and stuff. That's the TNC 3.2. And then what's nice is it has this like little plug and it's like fully assembled so there's no soldering. You just plug it in and then there's example code and this also is, is socketed in. You can also use it with LED strip, like a NeoPixel or dot star LEDs if you like, but I think it's kind of best used for these um, matrices. It can, it doesn't have to drive. This thing I think is a 32 by 32. 
they can drive like the 32 by 64s I think as well um, they can drive the really big displays and you can of course tile them together and make larger displays because the teensy 3.2 has lots of memory so this is just a little add-on helper and it comes with a library um, this is version 4 so it's the latest version okay next up Mimi we have two M bots these are from MakeBlock, and these are like really nice little uh, robots that you can, you know, use for desktop or tabletop or, or floor use. Um, they're kind of the kinda most rugged of the robots that we've seen. Um, you get a lot, they're about hundred dollars a piece. There's two versions. One version comes with Bluetooth. One comes with 2.4 gigahertz. If you want to use it with a tablet, you should get the Bluetooth version, uh, and you can so always program it over USB. But um, there's like a little module in here. So you can see there's a little Wi-Fi uh, wireless module. So you, it comes with either a Bluetooth one or 2.4 gigahertz one. And if, you, sorry, if you're using a tablet or a phone, you want to get the Bluetooth version and, and there's apps for it. If you're using it with a desktop computer or laptop, uh, you should get um, the 2.4 gigahertz version. But you put it together, but it has like, you know, easy snap together pieces like these little cables snap in. Um, with sensors and motors and then this is like the brain and it's an Arduino compatible got a sonar sensor there like line following um, it's Arduino compatible you can always program it over USB so you got a USB port there but what's nice is that you can also like use it wirelessly let me see if I can pull up this app that I installed give me a second um, so So what's nice is that there's like, you know, there's this app where you use, um, uh, you can like drag and drop blocks, which unfortunately, oh, sorry, press that. Uh, it's gonna be complaining. Um, but you can drag and drop blocks and uh, create programs. It's kind of like a Blockly interface. Um, and then there's also like, you can basically go through the app and like learn different robotic things. There's a, a course version and then there's also an activity version. So um, you can like, you know, do projects with it and it has like different you know, like interfaces. So it's kind of like a, a big advanced um, system. So you can have like a control, you can like make your own like custom controller for your robot that like maybe picks up something and moves or turns and then there's a speaker built in so it can play sounds. So it's a little bit more than just like a, a standard rover where you just like kind of move it or you don't move it. This one, it has a lot of activities built in, which I think is kind of nice. So this is what I like about, this one is it's, it's both basic and that you can just like, if you, if you want to just control it as a RC robot, you can do that. And if you want to use Blockly, which is like Scratch, you can use that. And if you're really advanced, you connect over USB and you can program it with the Arduino library. So you can basically like act as if it was a, a full Arduino compatible robot. So it has a lot of um, flexibility from a beginner to advanced level. Um, so yeah, if you're using it with a tablet or phone, get the Bluetooth version. If you're using it with a desktop, get the 2.4 gigahertz version. Uh, laptops also 2.4 gigahertz. That's the, probably the best bet um, until every computer has Bluetooth built in. Soon. One day. Okay. And start of the show tonight besides you, Lady Ada, and the community and everyone here together is this the itsy bitsies i actually designed these in 2015 and i haven't gotten around to put them in the store till now i remember the desk of lady ada so we have these these are the itsy bitsies yeah. so are these, these are um they are little dev boards and they're basically my answer to i want something bigger than a trinket but smaller than a feather and we have the pro trinket but the Pro Trinkets um, are not going to last very long because Watch they, out, Trinket Pro. We're coming after you. Yeah, it's got the BitBang USB stuff, which doesn't work really well on modern computers, like especially Mac, High Sierra, and higher. They, they kind of struggle with it, and sometimes you need to take a, like a USB hub. USB 3 ports don't always work with it. So instead of trying to continue on that path, we just said, okay, let's just make something similar enough using the Atmega 32U4, which um, is you know well-known popular chip. It's Arduino compatible. Um, there's two versions. We have a three volt version and a five volt version. Um, the three volt version has one pin that's a five volt output. So if you want to use it with NeoPixels, that pin is like shifted high. So it's better for, for driving servos or NeoPixels or anything else that needs a five volt signal and is very picky about that, doesn't like a three volt signal. 
Um, but they're pretty much the same designs. One has a three volt regulator and one has a five volt regulator. And then we'll also have other versions with like an M0 or M4 chip later, but this is just to get started. If you're thinking of building a project and you want to pick up a per trinket, I would recommend this. And I'm gonna update the per trinket page as well to say, so, hey, like, you know, basically check these out. They're, they're as powerful, but easier to use. Like the chip is, you know, 32K of flash, but it has built in native USB. And I think that makes it a better chip overall. Yeah, also I mean, has more GPIO available. I think Arduino stopped making the Leonardo a while ago, right? Yeah, I don't so, even know if the micro is available. So this is yeah. something that has a lot of pins. Basically, it's like 20 GPIO pins. It's like 28 total, but of those 23, I think, are GPIO. It has six analog and like five PWM. So it's a lot of I.O. Um, people like the trinket. They liked how small it is. And this isn't that much bigger than a trinket, but it has a lot more pins. Okay. You know what time it is. It's yep. part of recap time. New products this week, Lady Ada. New, 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 new. We got gift certificates, so holiday season, give a gift certificate. They can pick up whatever they like. We've got silicone tubing for the peristaltic pump. If you have one of our nice peristaltic pumps, but you're like, hey, I wish I had some silicone tubing, don't want to go to the hardware store, we sell it by the meter. The KTOR uh, power pack, this lets you charge any USB 5 volt 1 amp device with your arm, your hand, you move it like a human battery and it will charge your device for you. Like the Matrix. So you don't even need to have batteries. Uh, this is the Smart Matrix version 4. It takes a Teensy 3.2 that you solder and attach to the back and it'll plug into RG matrices or LED strips and does like all of the management for you and lets you do text and layering and colors and animated GIFs, all that good stuff. Me, me. You got the M-Bots. Uh, these are uh, build-it-yourself, solder-free robots. They're really well-made. They're very beautiful. Love that blue. We have them in bl both Bluetooth, which works great with tablets and phones, and 2.4 gigahertz radio, which comes with a dongle for use with tablets or desktop. Build your own smart little robot rover. Okay, and? The Itsy Bitsies, they're bigger than a trinket and smaller than a feather. These 32U4 base boards are kind of just a small development board with a lot of pins. People have been asking for that. Um, you have a three volt version and a five volt version, so pick and choose depending on what kind of logic level you're interfacing with. All right, that's it. Happy holidays. Hey, thanks everybody.